Hi, I'm Chris with 51337 Reviews, Now Everything I Bulletin, and I recently modified my dock, and I'm going to show you all the best things to modify your dock. So here's my dock. See, it doesn't look like a regular dock. The first thing you may have noticed is that in between some of my apps, there is a space. I got that from my favorite app on my whole computer. It's called Super Docker. Uh, that's what it looks like. It gives you all these options for your dock. Icon transparency, automatically hide, lock icons so you can't move them around. Dock style, 2D or 3D, alignment, left, center, or right, position on screen, uh, left up here, bottom or right up here. And minimize using Genie, Scale, or Suck. This is what Suck looks like. That might be new to you. You just click minimize and it just sucks it in. Then when you maximize it, it comes right back up. I like Genie the best though. Then you can customize your stacks completely. You can add a stack of recent items, which is what I have here. Click it, and you can then select what app you want to use. Only recent items, though. So that's cool. Um, finder, completely customize your finder. You can add a quit button. So when you click and hold on it, it gives, instead of just hide, it gives you the quit option, too. You can show hidden files and uh, customize this window title. Then you can... Uh, Customize your dashboard right down here when you click plus. Oops, what's going on here? Right there. You can completely customize this down here so it doesn't have that background. Uh, but I like it the way it is, so I just keep it. Then you can customize Safari, uh, your toolbar, whatnot, development menu, web inspector, new tab. Uh, button system capture dialogs panels lock login screen background capture is really nice you can actually uh, choose what format you want to save it as when you take a screenshot like this shift command three so when you open it up normally uh, it doesn't save as a JPEG but now if you go to save as you will see it is a JPEG already so that's really nice uh, and then others is just debug menus, iChat, iTunes, and Time Machine. Uh, my second favorite app actually lets you customize the look of your dock. Uh, notice I have these three lights instead of just one when something's active. And that is right here. It is called Dock Library. So you go online, pick a doc file that you like. I'll give you a couple websites that I really like. And you just click import here. And I just save them to my desktop. And when you click import, it will put them on this list. Then you can just choose one. I'll choose this one, new doc unibody, and click activate. And go down here. Now my doc has a unibody with an arrow to signify that it is on. Oops, open my mail. Then if I want to go back, I can just click 3D border, click activate, and it's back to that. Alright, so that's really cool. And if you don't like a doc that you downloaded or didn't, you know, wasn't all that you expected, you can just click it, click delete. Simple as that. Uh, so yeah, that's all the customizations for the doc. Uh, later I'll be showing you other customizations. Customize your icons with light icon, and customize your uh, boot logo with boot exchanger. Uh, this has been Chris with Bottle 337 Reviews, Now Everything I Bulletin. Thank you. If you like this video, we have many more helpful videos on the way. Josie's on a vacation far away. Come around and talk it over. So many things that I want to say. You know I like my girls a little bit older. I just want to use your love tonight.